I don't see many Asian people with Down syndrome. <laughs> and now you're about, I'm going to answer it with the most racist thing because you're setting me up to say something racist. And racist? If I, yeah, I'm, racist. I'll tell you, I'm scientific. I'm going to answer this to you, question, right? Bobby. Sometimes you can't tell with Koreans. <laughs> You wanna fuck with my my huh? <laughs> okay, we have the same amount as you white people. It's just that sometimes you just can't tell. Okay, and if that, if you wanted me to say that, you set me up right. And so everyone listening right t- now, yeah, you know what you're doing. Wait, what are you saying? You're saying what I'm saying. What is, kind of people? I, I'm going to say something. What kind of people? What Koreans are are look like? What? They look like what? Down syndrome people, right? So I'll play then, you. I'll play you. Play the guy. Okay. Because like, I don't know what you're saying. Okay. Excuse me, Ching Chong. Um. Hey, hey. Ching hey. Chong. Nobody da, 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 says that. Da, Nobody. Da, 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 da. Right. Ching Chong. Ching, there we go. Ching Chong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Hey, Ching. Um. Ching Chong. Ching Chong. Ching Chong. Should, should I get to number three, the boat? You know what I mean? The boat with all the sushi on it? How many fighting come with you? <laughs> <laughs> what did you even say? He knows what I said. Oh my God, that was the most racist thing I've ever heard. Oh my God, that was so racist. No, what is that it? was the most racist Asian <laughs> accent ever, right? I've ever heard in my life. What are you talking we about? We gotta get out of here. That was dead oh on. My God, that was fucking that crazy. That was dead good. on. Do it so again. Racist. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Am I fucking coming? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what happened? Look at that dude. He's like, mm-hmm, what? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, dude! But I have a hood to put on. Night. She should keep the hood on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. <sighs> Probably a lot more people checking that video <laughs> out if she had the hood. <laughs> You know, L- let's be honest, you didn't really have to come out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the Huey Lewis in the news haircut. <laughs> it's really nice. That's so true. She's right? like, I came out as bisexual. Yeah. We're like, and mm-hmm. everybody's like, bisexual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just keep going, Samantha. <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> this chick makes six figures a month doing, doing this, this good for her would she make that kind of money if she was wearing a big baggy outfit no the fact that you can see her lips through her pants probably helps a lot <laughs> i'll tell you what man because people are like christina how are you doing are you gonna be okay i'm like you know what you know what 2020 has been such a cocksuck yeah <laughs> and i am strong eastern european woman this shit does not fucking phase me okay I take care of everything. You see, I'm here now. I take care of fucking everything. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> so, I love this guy. Imagine being allergic to peanuts. Bitch, if you don't grow the fuck up. It just makes me laugh. It's perfect. So much. Yeah. It's such a sentiment I agree with. Yeah. And then the next time. <laughs> like, like there's a choice. <laughs> well, no, it's true. It is actually. What do you mean it's true? I'll tell you why. Gen Xers are not allergic to fucking peanuts or anything. You know why? We stopped giving kids peanuts in the following generations, and we gave the children allergies. It's 100% true. Go ahead and look it up. We created fucking peanut allergies in okay. children because they were so afraid of kids getting uh, allergies. And how come all of a sudden all these fucking... Yeah, crybabies. There's definitely are, real peanut allergies. No, there are. I'm not. Saying they're not real. I'm saying that we cause them by oh, I see what you're by saying. not introducing these things to kids. It was Gen Xers ruined stuff for everyone else. Is what I'm okay. trying to say. Okay. Uh, but yes, it is an inferior constitution. These people are weak that have peanut allergies. And they're greeted by a guy named Crazy Chris. They call me Crazy Chris, motherfucker. That's right, Crazy Chris, the nightmare man. Chris has scars on his face. And it's the screen freezes and it says Chris killed six people and he's doing a double life sentence. Like this dude is so bad that when he dies and he's reincarnated, that guy's doing life in prison also. <laughs> so this is a bad motherfucker right here. Watch this face. Look at this face, dude. There's somebody like me waiting. He's got a fork and a knife and the spit is dripping down his mouth like the cartoons. 
we will eat you alive. He pulls a kid out of line. The kid's like 13. He weighs, I don't know, 100 pounds. And he has a bowl cut. Okay? He has a bowl cut <laughs> in prison. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's parted in the middle. And the prisoner goes, Why are you here? And the kid's like, Ugh. Stealing? And he goes, The fuck you took? And the kid goes, bikes? And he goes, bikes! Why you here? Stealing. Stealing. What the fuck you took? Stealing bikes. Some bikes. And that's why I yell bikes all the time. <laughs> Next guy comes up to him and he goes, uh, hold my pocket. Hold my pocket. Hold on to this motherfucker. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And you walk with me, And he makes kids walk around holding the inside of his pocket. You understand? So he walks and then they're like, uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what you know about prison, but if you're holding on to another dude's pocket, it's gonna be a rough day, all right? <laughs> Not only is this guy making kids hold his, but he's talking ridiculous shit to middle schoolers. He's like, I'm gonna make you suck my dick for breakfast. Every morning. The kid's like, Ugh. I hate breakfast. Ugh. And you have to suck my motherfucking dick, motherfucker, when my dick get hard. But what about so the hot nurses, shit. too? Is that helping? No, no. The, the prettier people are here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This, this is, is where it's smaller. Oh, got you. Okay, sorry. I'm I had fucking Carlos washing my dick <laughs> at the hospital. So. Would you rather everywhere you go, you have to run to get there? I'm out on that. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't even care what the next one is. <laughs> my back can't take it. It's literally like you go to the next room in your house to say like something to your wife. Like a five-year-old. No, yeah. exactly. No. It's awesome. Always running. It's Never stretching, <laughs> just always running. Right. You always have to, you have to run if to somebody, Irvine. If someone knocks on your front door, you have to run there. You have to run on stage. Heavy you feet. Run. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care what this is. Or join ISIS. <laughs> All right, ISIS. <laughs> Let's get those fucking infidels. <laughs> or every time you speak, you're shouting. So you're basically a toddler. Like you're just you're full screaming volume full shouting. Vo like right Will now. Will it hurt my voice to do it? Of course, yes. Yeah, a little painful. bit. Yeah. Of course. It's uh, not fun. Neither of these are going to be fun. But you have to go like the phoning. <laughs> Hello! Yeah, like that. You you always you say, you say everything in that range. Yeah, and your stand up too. I found a loophole. <laughs> I find a loophole. What's the loophole? loophole? I would just ignore people. Oh. So then I wouldn't have to talk to them. And then they, when they, I just wait till they say my name 10 times and I'd be like, what? So it made sense. <laughs> it's the loophole. Because you need, you, loophole. you, you yeah. need your health. Good. You need your health. And my, my, my body would just hurt so much what if I did your, that. Your sweet wife who you love be like, Bill, you gotta go, <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, do you think you can take our daughter to the park? You're like, yeah. And then your sweet daughter. Yeah, but here. I could explain to her. I have an affliction. <laughs> Ignore the tone of my voice. I love you more than life itself. You're my best friend. <laughs> so dumb. I'd love to go to the movies, but you're going to have to do the purchase. <laughs> He can't whisper during the movie. Yeah, he yeah. can. He can shout it. He's <laughs> one of my favorite actors. Yeah, definitely. He could do it. I think the wife did it. <laughs> he gets some popcorn. Yeah, but I actually, because that, that would be fun. Once yeah. my wife was into it, I would just be totally quiet. Yeah. And no, you're act. having sex. You like that? <laughs> you feel so good. <laughs> It would wear on her. I think the bit would wear on her after a while. You no, I, I, I would just duct tape a pillow around my my oh, mouth. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, so it then it'd be all like... right. <laughs> just do it like that. You like that? It's still hard. it's still not sexy. No, no, so, <laughs> my brain this is hurts. Terrible. <laughs> the back of my head hurts. But but if you run everywhere, you'd be in great shape. There you go. And you can maintain your your human relationships. Yeah, you wouldn't yell at. But anybody. it's it's as simple as like you have to go piss in the middle of the night. <laughs> Yeah, but then, but then, <laughs> no, but I would be miserable. I would start yelling at people because y your body can't take that. Yeah. 
<laughs> That'd be a lot. Yeah, but what? you get used to it. What do you? Weirdest story anybody's ever said <laughs> on like, the podcast <laughs> that like made me uncomfortable <laughs> from the beginning too. No, it's the serial killer like tone of like, his his complete lack of emotion. Thank you. <laughs> Can I tell and you something? This happened. <laughs> yes. Said. Yeah. You know what? And I know Bill. The only thing missing from that story is the sound of somebody gagged screaming in the other room. Right. Now I know that you. Oh, just let me go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I know that you suspect that my husband is a psycho. I've heard. I've heard about. No, he this. is. Yeah. No, I know, and I've. He I actually agree. Is. Yeah, and I've been trying to prove this on this show for He's a long time. He's just like you know, there's like Bud and there's Bud Light. There's like Psycho and Psycho Light. Like he just yeah. he's not the uh, the high calorie one that can't get married and have kids. That's right. Yes, but if you if his thoughts were a movie. <laughs> yep. Yeah, definitely NC-17. <laughs> yep, he's a functioning psychopath. Yeah. Jesus you know why? Because when I started yeah. dating him, Bill, and this is a true story, when I started dating Tom Segura back in 05, there were red flags, little stuff, like <laughs> when we were... Remember Put little dead animals behind your no, uh, apartment building? Not that. <laughs> but I remember, you know, in the beginning, you're all lovey-dovey, and, uh, and he'd be like, I, li I, li I like you so much. I like you so much. I just want to gouge your eyes out. I want to squish your face and kill you and, and put a sledgehammer in your head. Like, he remember that me. stuff, Tom? You're like, I love you so much. I just want to smash your goddamn head in. <laughs> I'm being serious. Yeah. No, this, I, somebody said that about my kid one time. Oh, my God, look at those feet. I just want to cut them off. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, fucking lunatics. Yeah, right there. You can't, you can't be with a person like that. So well, <laughs> if, I, you, I am, if you ever need a safe house, <laughs> we got a guest room. <laughs> Well, I'm two kids deep now. I think I used to say, like, I want to put your head through that dress. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, as an expression of love. Right. Yeah. And there were other things, too. Like it's because you don't like love and you hate that it makes you feel weak or something, <laughs> that you want to violently take it out on yeah, her. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, it worked out. It did, actually. Were you frustrated that you knew you had no control over the love that you had for your Ooh, wife? So then, good, then you just you were starting to feel trapped? I think it was more of like, I, like that. I didn't know how to express how good I felt, you know? Yeah. So I thought... No. That, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. no. He really just tried, he tried to play like dim-witted there. Yeah. <laughs> no. See, I, see, that's you're, probably you're my foul for it. calculated... Yeah. You're everything you need to be to make in this business. <laughs> yeah. You just yes. can't be creative and just be floating around like, oh, that tickles my artistic fantasy.